So there's this wonderful editor named VS Code that works pretty well. I am very happy with it. I always get questions like, what are my plugins? What are my extensions? What am I using to make my VS Code better? The answer is not much. I keep my setup pretty simple. I wanna change that though. I wanna try all of the different things people recommend. And I mean all of them at once. I wanna ruin VS Code using all of your recommendations, good, bad, and ugly, to see just how bad an editor experience I can make. The plan here is to make the VS Code that Primogen sees in his nightmares, the thing that keeps him up, the thing that will ruin our lives and make us wish we had Vim, except it's just a pile of awful plugins. So let's do it. How bad can we make VS Code? The first change I made, sidebar on the right. This one I might stick with. The main reason why is that my face doesn't cover code as often. Instead, my face will cover file names, which aren't as important. So I actually think just for their content purposes alone, I might actually have to keep this change, which makes me want to die. But we can do so much worse though, like so much worse. The next thing we should address obviously is going to be the theme. And the theme, there are some pretty, pretty bad ones built in. A lot of people are saying we need to go light mode. Solarized lights, cringe, but works. It's like, this is bad, but it's usable. I'll take some chat recommendations now if anybody has them. Let me pop out my Twitch chat so I can see it. Ooh, fake Donalds. Good recommendation, Jason. I, I think the best part here is the contrast. Like that's unreadable. You can't, you don't need, like who really needs comments anyways? Let's be real, but <laughs> holy shit, this is so bad. Oh, the color when you hover things, that's so awful. That's so useless. This doesn't, like, I get it's a joke, but can it be a usable joke? Cause like you can't read that. Yeah, cool. I already have this here. Much better. The uh, size are too larger. Editor.tab size. I, I want to really curse number one more than 16, 17. Disable keybinds. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Whew. I want to remap every key. Who needs key bindings? I have a mouse. Remap every every key to close file. Oh, that is so much worse. Every time I save, it now closes the whole window on me. Tell me that's not worse. I can leave the other key combos, but every time I try to save, it closes the file on me. I have to manually file save. This is so much more evil than almost anything else I can do. Also, holy shit. <laughs> this is so bad. This is, it keeps getting worse. Anybody else have good, like properly cursed things I can add? Oh, the VS Code pets. Yes, obviously I need VS Code pets. Duh. It's gonna be so annoying to undo all of this bullshit later. I should have like backed up my config or something. No, you guys, we can't disable features. We, we have to add more. Adding makes things better and we're adding everything we can. Oh, that's even better. When it word wraps, it still does the padding. Oh, oh. Editor letter spacing is an option too. Oh boy. I can't do this. Emoji icons. Yes. You're getting a promotion for this one, Ronan. So much better. Look at that. Is that not exactly what we wanted here? I also love how small the like code view is here for like files. It's beautiful. What else do we got? Oh, it, it, it's an actual like sound. Like it, it will have audio. Oh God, that's awful. I have to like set things in here. Ah, there we go. Keep going. You are the best. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? Can I undo this all now? Vibrancy. Will this work on Mac OS? <laughs> Can this be over now? I said till end of month on just the theme. End of month, just of theme. You're wrong on two counts. I'll give back the 10 subs if I don't have to do this any longer. Sadly, my VS Code installation is corrupt. So what I have to do <laughs> is go uninstall the fucking last one I installed. Vibrancy, yeah. Uninstall, reload. Are we no longer corrupt? No, it's still fully corrupt. 
I have bad news, guys. This being corrupt does mean our fun is over. I think we've had our fun here. Quite the set of stuff we have done to uh, improve VS Code. We managed to fully break the installation. Y'all have ruined my editor and likely ruined many days coming up as I try to actually code in this. So uh, I hate all of you. I hope this makes good content. Watch whatever's coming up there because it's probably good too. Peace, nerds.